just where my mind's stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified. Guess that's why I stay busy, work. Alright, but besides shit, uh, talking about shit not working and canceling, I guess we can move that into the uh, Marvel Netflix shows, basically all being canceled now. Uh, well, except for Jessica Jones and Punisher, they they're stuff. they're good as canceled. They they said they had their seasons confirmed. Though Those the, and... that's because they're already being filmed. Yeah, so they... that's not that's like say that's not saying they're canceled. That's after uh... this season. That means they're not confirmed for another season. Oh no, for another season. Yeah, I'm just saying yeah, that they're that's... at least finish those off. Well, yeah, then... that's not saying they and then be done. They, you like it wouldn't make sense to cancel them in mid production. You just be throwing away money. Yeah, so I said so. Yeah, at least they'll, they'll have at least one more season of those. Yeah, then... at least they finish them that's for sure and that's it for those it's slightly down because it's right there the the thing being and they've talked a lot about it and the thing that they're not going to move those shows over to the new disney streaming service somebody said on daredevil though that it wasn't the end of the characters they said like that, that the i don't think the characters are finished like one of the netflix creators i think the character rights are still open but i don't know if those Shows so specifically Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist uh, are going to be returning. Now we might see something like a Heroes for Hire. Yeah, it's a little sad about Daredevil. I don't know. I was sad about Luke Cage too. I wasn't too sad about Iron Fist. They didn't really earn its third season. People enjoy the third. The, the second season's better. Season, yeah, it's still just not that great though. It's just not good enough to merit continue you know what i mean mm -hmm. i don't know it like i said it was be better but it, there was a lot of things they didn't change that they needed to the intro needed to change it needed a better intro more like sticky i don't know i think i watched it for like i can't remember the intro it's exactly and that's not I mean, good i only watched the first episode so I'm... yeah and that's the exact thing. It had the the same intro for both seasons. Oh, it was the same one, wasn't it? Exactly. That's what it was. Okay. And so there was no change. So there was no like improvement. Here's an idea. <laughs> Move it to Hulu. I mean, they have Runaways. They could, but they well, like I said, I think it's a licensing rights deal. I think they have that stuff licensed with and Netflix. You can't pull two it out. Of who, uh, Runaways is coming out. Yeah. Well, and then to, to, uh, the Gifted season two has been releasing on Fox. Yeah, I've been which watching been it. Good. I like it. Yeah, I've it's been been it my parents enjoy season. that. Yes, yeah, it's the first. It plays perfectly on with the X Men. Yeah, it's that. good. It's a good. It's a good idea. You know what I mean? It sucks that they can't use more of the main characters from the yeah. X Men. They get some though. They got Polaris and a couple of the others. I think too. It's more of the production. Just to get, I mean, if you have like a high power. Even yeah. just the high power stuff, but I think the high profile stuff brings a lot of expectation for that. True. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, they still have some good they power do. There's like Pat Polaris. Yeah, but I feel like their um, powers, when they use them, are minimal effects. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can add a little metal here, make something seem like it's that. Uh, and there's two of two points. Some are more than others, obviously. Like, obviously, what's her face? Uh, the one with Ooh, the tight. door. Her stuff, whenever she made her portal, that would take a. No, oh, Blink? Yes. I forgot that they made her Blink, but they did pretty good on that. I like Blink. It's an interesting how they use a lot of the side characters. That's what I like about it. I, And that it keeps. I feel like it keeps the feel of the, the 90s X-Men. The Von Strucker twins. Yeah, the Von Strucker twins. I mean, were I like the, the Cuckoo Sisters that were in. When, the, I, the Cuckoo when Sisters I first found out that they came in, I was like, yes. They got I was happy. Cool. I was actually way happier about that than the Von Strucker twins, especially just because of the big change. From the original Strucker twins to these ones, like the original ones were just straight up villains. I mean, I've been really enjoying the Gifted. Yes, thank you, Leo. Me too. I've uh, definitely enjoyed it. Yeah. When I first heard, yeah heard they were coming out with that, I, I started watching and I yeah I loved the first season or the first season. The first episode really caught me on and I thought I've been watching good. it ever since. Yeah. I enjoy it. I'm on and off on it a lot because I feel like there's low spots where there's more personal drama than yeah. mutant drama, which is part of the thing, but it just pulls me off of it for the show because I'm there for the mutant drama. Yeah. And it's like, I just want to, it's like, more Sentinels. Yeah. <laughs> That's me just here sitting screaming. Uh, speaking of stuff like that, other shows that are doing well, uh, we've got also, maybe not well, but Titans has supposedly done you know some decent stuff 
Uh, oh, Teen Titans. I was yeah, like, yeah. Um, well, and that's why I said Titans. <laughs> yeah, because there's all those different Titan shows. They're supposed to be Teen Titans season six, Teen <laughs> Titans Go versus yeah. Teen Titans, and then yeah. there's Teen, th- and then there's Titans, and then there's Young Justice Outsiders, which comes out I think in a couple of days, the new season. Young Justice, I thought it was still like a month away still. I don't one. think so. I think it's pretty close. Uh, let me double check. Maybe Izzy can back me up, or not Izzy, uh, Leo can back me up on this one. Izzy, back me up on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, with, uh, um, Justice Outsiders. Because this is actually would have been my reason to get it even more than, uh, Ah, it's 2010. Oh, what's this? Does this look somewhat credible, maybe? No. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe. I know they did release a new, uh... Maybe it's the trailer trailer that's coming out. It was like a new teaser trailer they released. Yeah, they have the official uh, Young Justice Oh, it was the official, yeah, trailer they released. Okay. And it's like a minute 40. And it premieres January 4th. That's Maybe that's what we should have played. Maybe that's... Yeah, if I'd have remembered this, I would have put it up. But I just got the (laughs) notifications a little while ago. So unfortunately, that wasn't happening. That's all right. Indeed. Uh, But yeah... I mean, yeah, the cancellation of the Marvel Netflix does rough. Like I said, I think it does signal, just signify though a bigger splitting of the Disney properties off of. Marvel. Yeah, they will, I mean, I mean, we got a month. Yeah, that's what we get. I think, or like to maybe it's like January something if, but we got a month and then they're gonna basically move all most Disney titles off of Netflix and yeah. go to their own streaming Which, service. I mean, it makes sense that they want to, you know, not yeah. pay a, a third party company to do all their. I mean, I guess and I whole, get it, but it's one of those... all their stuff, too, and they can just yeah. have their own service and just license everything right, but themselves. It, but my thing for that is I wonder, one, if they're going to get... I wonder how it's going to work, because I don't think DC streaming service is getting them nearly the money they thought it was going to. Is that what you've been hearing from it? Yeah, I don't... I've, heard, I've heard that that's just not... People don't like it. They're not getting the stuff from that service that they want. But the thing is, they don't. They don't have a lot of this content right now. Mm-hmm. I I purchased it, and I you know they have a few good comics on there. That's the thing. Like, and then they don't stay on there. They cycle through, right? I've seen that. Yeah. Which isn't like uh, Marvel. Marvel's. Well, I mean, where they just throw it on there and it's forever. On there for yeah, life. It's, a, it's a fucking archive. It's cheaper to keep a giant archive. But. And then, like I said, they don't have a lot of content right now. All they have is Titans, and then the only thing they have for going for is now the wait for Young Justice. Right. And well, they have Swamp old. Thing. Well, they have the old stuff too, like and, but Batman. But the thing is, like, but that's who all. wants to watch all the? And old I'm not gonna lie. I mean, who you does it? Watch it few. Well, and like, the people who want it have it. You know what I mean? Yeah, if, you, yeah, yeah. if you're a big fan, you probably have that on yeah. collection somewhere. I know people who do, so like I don't personally because I'm not big enough of a fan so, to pick up the whole series. At but that point, there's not enough content. Right. I Whereas think. Disney will have more, but I think it's going to be somewhat well, of the same well, thing. I mean, they have a lot of shit. They more do movies. Like. They do, but they still don't have nearly the spread of Hulu or Netflix. Yeah. Not and even then I close. I seen that they were doing another animated Star Wars. Mm-hmm. It's really kid friendly. Yeah, they're it doing so. I think that's what they're gonna put on their their streaming show as well. I think they might. Uh, there's they're, they're they'll have stuff. And it's, then look like they even. I've have been the, using it. Not a fan. Side wait. Cannot wait for DB Super Brawly. Yes, thank you, Leo. Oh, there we go. Not filled in. Uh, I don't think Bane Nightfall is on there. Unfortunate. Not great. Like I said, the, the DC streaming stuff we already knew was going to be rough. I'm not sure how Disney's going to do They have the portfolio. I don't know if they have the variety that comes necessary for that. And they do have their Mandalorian series coming. That's the That's biggest true. hype right there. Yeah, the Mandalorian series is what a lot it of people are It sounds to for. me like they, they know what they're doing and they they, like, they want to, they have, they're just going to, I mean, if they have all these properties, they got them. I think they're just going to play, well. I think they're just going to play off what they have. Like, they yeah, got to play off Star Wars, they're going to play off yeah. their animated films. But they got to make some more new content as well, which they, they are showing us they're going to do that. Right. But like, what I mean, what else but right, but, the, make but like that? I said, it's one of those things oh. We have the Scarlet and Loki TV series. Right, whatever they're going to do that with that. If that even comes to fruition, because we know how those pilots get yeah. 
Because we've we'll we've been hearing about Channing Tatum's gambit for. But it's I heard it's finally finally finally. <laughs> yeah, no, no, finally, don't even, finally, no, don't even, finally, no, 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 no
as bonuses or whatever for being a member. But then, like you said, you do Funimation or Crunchyroll, or there's another third party. And that's just for those streams. So then now we're adding Disney Plus. We've got DC. Which I for sure gonna buy. Yeah, I mean, who's not? I mean, come who's on. Who's not? I mean, even me, like, me bitching about it, like, I mean, I love Disney movies. Yeah. All Disney movies. Like, there's very few Disney movies I don't enjoy. They just make good shit. They figured it out. They know the formula. I, like, there's there's bad stuff, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but I wish they... I had a PS4. <laughs> yeah, don't. They have a PS4. Do they? they? Yeah. I don't think they do. Yeah, Not a good one. I swear to you. Yo, Leo, I swear, because I, I was even watching Funimation at one point on my PS4. I could swear. But were you, you watching it through an app, or were you no, watching? No, no, no. It was the app. I could have sworn. See. Yeah, they made an app for all of them, for Xbox and PS4. They usually make apps they for everything. They wouldn't slack on, on PS4. I know that for sure. Let's see. Funimation, PlayStation. It looks like you got it. Sign up for the fu free Funimation and download our free app on the PlayStation Store to start streaming your favorite anime series. Yeah, it looks like they have it. Later. I don't you know when it on there right now. It and says 2017-2018 <laughs> products. So this is from probably last year when they probably started. But this. it should be on there. I it's swear, probably on I there. It's probably you. on there now. But that's what I'm saying is it would have started probably last year. Okay. They so, slacked on that that long. Ago. I'm telling you, bro. Sometimes they do. Well, you know Patreon was on there. You remember Patreon, the 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 fundraising service mm -hmm. or whatever. We were part of it for. I mean, we still kind of are or whatever. They. It took them forever to get any sort of phone app. I'm not even kidding you. Like, it, like years, bro, to the point of ridiculousness where you couldn't post or you couldn't do anything from your phone. Like it was you like the and you'd be surprised at how some companies drop the balls on those things. Like just little things. And I'm guessing what it is is like someone literally just like one day is just like, hey, where's our uh, where's our internet page? <laughs> what do you mean? It's not there. Do we have one? Do, Do we, we ever make one? one? Like I, feel, I swear to God, that's it's like something they just assumed someone had already taken care of, or like it just fell through the cracks. Cause it's so important, some of those things. Never yeah, mind. Yeah. Just found it. Like you got his happy face. All right, we already. Yeah. Now, yeah. now you gotta pay for it. No. All right. Where's the? Thing? Yeah. That's the only thing. And now you pay. Oh, and then I finally got our Discord link hooked up. Right. Oh, did I mess that up? Probably. Oh no, there's just people hanging out. But they're not in here. <laughs> no, I was just... Uh, yeah, and then DC doesn't have... Uh, they're not on any apps right now as well either. Yeah. I would assume they would have launched on like, be more fair, platforms before. Because the only thing that feels like they're on is the phone app, or you can either get on Roku and that's it. I mean, I can kind of understand that. like, Especially from like DC or Marvel, I could see more of a limited thing because they're... Big, but less big than, like, Disney or, say, if Warner Brothers didn't yeah. have something like that. Well, I mean, Warner Brothers owns them. You'd think they'd have... Oh, well, right. Would they have knows. some something somewhere? I don't know. And so that's we're, not, we're not in the business. We don't know what No, like, I don't make those made. decisions. <laughs> and I don't know. Some, yeah. I guess I just have... We have different priorities, too, than those people. Like, we're fans. We have the fan priorities, and they have the business priorities of sell per metric unit. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's like, if they could find a way to literally sell a shit, I think they would. He says it's a fairly soft launch. Uh. That's what Leo said. I mean, it is. But, like, I don't know. To me, I would have thought they would have launched on a couple more platforms. Right. What My thing is, if you're going to go... Like, I'm not expecting... And that's the other reason I was going to say. Like, I, I understand limiting the options for money reasons, right? You don't want to put it on it everywhere because promotion's expensive. Yeah. It really is. And even just upkeep of uh, utilities, website stuff, you know what I mean? For some, theoretically, you know, doing business, and I know if Leo is doing this now because he runs the Geekly Good stuff, that there's a certain number metric of you input versus output that you have to reach before something becomes, like, viable, worth doing, like... You know, if you don't sell, you know, I don't know, a thousand toothpicks or whatever, it's not <laughs> worthwhile to chop down a whole tree for, you know, I'm just saying, like, there's, like, yeah. certain things where it does not work out that way to buy it in and then, like, just have it uh, and just sitting there, you know what I mean? They don't want to have, mm -hmm. they don't want to pay for these servers just to have them be empty, which is... Well, it seems like it's happening, what you're saying. I don't know. I don't know what the exact metrics. Literally, I pay for this service, 
and I only watched one episode of the Titans. <laughs> that's all I've done. Yeah, yeah, I've done. Did I you read any read comics? Like five <laughs> comics, and that's it. Because so, so they're milk. They're want, getting their want, money's worth uh, out of you. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are. And I wanted to read some more Batman shit, but I can't because I got nothing on Batman. No, they didn't match any of his good shit. There's tons and tons of great Batman material, and they didn't put any of it up. There's tons of current great Batman material that I you could read. I wanted to read like Tom King's run, but they Tom, really the have like Tom, three books of him, and yeah. that's it. Which like, is really? dumb because the Tom King run one is the current like relaunch of Batman so, with Rebirth's I'm, I'm run. I'm thinking mm. to probably catch up with these scene and like I don't want to take it off. Maybe I'll take it off for now until Young Justice comes out and then get back on and then right. It, it might have to be guys no 66. Uh oh, what's going on? He said 66. Batman 66. I don't know, Batman. What, are they on 66 already? I don't know. I thought they were further up. That or something was going on with the audio is what I was wondering. Yeah, no, can, maybe? Nope. nope. Okay. We're good. As long as I can tell. What do you mean 66? Order 66? No, Adam West. No. Yeah. I know. Oh, they're talking about he's talking about on DC. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. I was a little sad that they didn't have Adam West Batman. So he was talking Batman sixty six. That's why I was like Batman sixty six. That the the realistic part is that DC has a, quite a litany of products and service or not products of material they could put up on there. The, and that's why nearly it's not on there. nearly a hundred years worth at this point coming up on, if you count where all the original property titles came from. Superman's like nineteen thirties or some shit. You know what I mean? So we're coming up on nearly 100 years of these titles having material you could put up on there for people to check out that aren't going to be getting... I mean, let's be honest. Who's reading 1950s Superman right now and I buying those? I read the first issue. Just to say I've I read, read a couple. Read. Like, just but, to say I read the first yeah, issue of yeah, Superman. Just to see. <laughs> but, but and, in all, and Batman. And, but in all... And like people might be buying them, but who... like In all literalness, who's buying these in bulk? No one's buying these in bulk. No one's... You know what I mean? So why wouldn't you just have the pro properties up there to increase interest in new stuff, right? I don't know. That's the whole idea of exposure, right? Is that you can give out stuff if you get, in return, more traffic from, you know, well, I don't know. So what do you so you just what do you think that they'll do uh, on uh, you think they'll do movies as well on their streaming service? I really would like for, for them Disney? to. They should. They should. They they'll have, they should at least do animated movies. You know what I'm saying? Because if mean, they do, if they do movies for their Disney Channel, which they slowly like, you know, don't really do anymore. You that was a big thing in the maybe early or late '90s to the right. I know what you're saying. The secondary Disney movies, the B movies. It kind of started with Halloween Town. Yeah, Halloween Town's there. probably the best. I don't. I don't think it's the first, but I think it's the best example. It's like the one that did the best. I can name me so many that there Disney are. There's a ton. Like so many under there's, wraps. Oh yeah, the Mummy movie. Yep, they had the uh, Luck of the Irish. Uh, they had uh, Johnny Tsunami. Johnny Tsunami. <laughs> God, dude, that one's that one's probably older than Halloween Town. Jeez, but there were a ton of them. There were a ton of movies oh, like yeah. that. They just did stuff back then because. I guess they just thought it was a good idea. It, it I guess was a it, thing, though. It was. It was very much. I mean, Halloween Town got like three sequels. You know what I mean? They got no one. more than that. It was like four. It probably was, but they had a lot. It definitely had. I remember by the time it was through, even like people who loved it were like, "Please stop." And the fourth one it sucked because it wasn't even the original uh, cast. Right? No, it was all the original cast except uh, the main girl, the older, the, the older sister. Yeah, the, the, the one who was the original focus in the... Yeah, yeah she was the only one. Other than that, like, the brother was still in there. Yeah, everybody else they but still her. They had, um, Carrie Fisher's, uh, mom still playing the, the grandma still. That was crazy, which She's is... in the fourth one still. It's yeah. like, Jesus. Which, I don't even want to know when all those came out. I'm sure it's a those fucking lifetime Those are, like, 2000, ago. I want to say maybe five was the last one. Maybe the six. last one? Maybe six or seven. Let's check. We'll check the Halloween Town stuff. It's been a while since we checked it. What do we got? It's from Contracts Arrowverse is on Netflix. That's true. DCEU on HBO. No Star Wars except Mandalorian is about to be on Disney. So, yeah, I'm wondering if they're not going to, like, you got to diversify your portfolio. They got to have stuff for people to watch. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I really want them to. 
Jesus, the original Halloween Town is 1998. Yeah, see, I knew it was like That's late 90s. crazy. Yep, and all the way to Return to Halloween. They got Halloween Town 2, Halloween <laughs> Town High, and then Return to Halloween Town. That's when she goes to college. Yes. I've seen all of them. I think uh, I have as well. I'll proudly say similar. I've seen all of them. <laughs> I'm proudly <laughs> say. Oh, you were close, Izzy. It was 2006. Ooh, I was close. Ooh, I was close. <laughs> but the the they definitely were coming out for a while there. I, I, I'm sure there's a litany, a big list of the Disney B-movies you could go find. And they're pretty decent, most oh, of yeah, them. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a couple. But they are no doubt B-movies. They're just filmed with that uh, budget. Yeah. Which, oh, you know what? Now I can I can think of an old one, Hocus Pocus. Oh, Hocus Pocus is one of the oldest. Yeah, but it wasn't really a Disney movie because it came out. Didn't it come out in the theaters? It might have, but I think it was still Disney. And at the, you know what's funny too is when that movie came out, it didn't do very good. No. And then for mm. some odd reason. <laughs> later, yeah. Later, it became this hot. It's like a cult hit. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they end up getting those. It's definitely interesting to see the cult hits when there's. I don't know. There's definitely movies I agree with it and don't agree with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, Evil Dead was probably one of those I ones. think it was, too. But at the same time, My Evil Dead... My favorite one's too, though. I like two. I like Evil Dead, too. It's good. That Honestly, I don't think there's not there's not many... The remake was a little rough, but I liked all the... Oh, Evil you didn't Dead. like the reboot that they did? That did it was cool. It was I just... I thought it kept true to, like, It the needed more comedy. comedy. Yeah, I guess. There was still some comedy parts, yeah, a little though, bit. I guess. Right. I know what you mean. And then, and then what really... I guess what really irked me is then they took out gore that they had originally planned. So remember the scene where she, like, rips her own face up? It's all mangled. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They ripped it out. They had it in the commercial where it kind of flashes and shows, and then in the movie they don't show it at all. I'm sure rip it up. They like they, even in the even in the un or whatever in rated I think version. They just yeah. Oh. They decide, it, I think it was either one. There was probably two things. One it was too gory, which I don't know why they would be too gory for an Ash movie. I mean, they did look, other stuff. Look at the things in Hostel. Yeah. I mean, there's this. I've, there's one scene where they uh, they're kind of just sitting there. All these people and the doctor comes in and there's a guy right here and he kind of just dots his face while he's awake, and he dots his face and he just starts cutting his face oh yeah and peeling it off and you can see it all off I'm like so they can show that but they can't show that right and so I don't know why they would choose not to show this except for the other thing being maybe the CGI was not good enough to make it past to final I mean, they shouldn't stage. even do CGI if they could have done that in hospital the real, without CGI that right, was all real prosthetic yeah was well prosthetics good. for gore horror I still don't think there's anything better because prosthetics oh. are basically real life. You know what I mean? It's the best. They they used to use pig's blood and actual like stuff, but now they just simulacrum. But it's really good. They really do do a good job. Even Saw and other new movies, they basically do a hybrid of, you know, the CGI. CGI yeah. yeah that, that's but prosthetics. But like, I don't like when things sometimes are just straight up. Just straight CGI. So like, it never comes. Did you good. see an Overlord, the new one? Oh, I wanted to go see that. I have it's not seen It's pretty good. You should check it out. So there's some scenes in that that fit that description where it's just too much CGI. Like, it's good. It looks good, is but you just so much. Though? A lot of Like, all right, the best way... I would understand that there's a lot of zombies in them and then mm. you have to do a lot of... But then... The thing know. is, it's not a, like there's a lot. It's just the one you see it, it's a lot. The stuff, okay. the one you... There, and it's not like all the time. It's going to be sp sp certain spots. You'll get spots and you're like, that's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> what I will say about that is, oh, I was gonna check, but I don't think we got any comments. Uh, the Overlord is basically a very good. It's like half of a World War Two movie and half of a zombie movie smashed together, in a good way, like it is well. But it's got really good historical accuracy, aside from the zombie shit, obviously, and then it melds well into like the narrative of World War Two, so. It's good. You'll have to watch it. That's one. You'll, you'll have to check it out. I like it. One of the thing I like, things I like it for is the feel of the movie. It feels like you're in a war. Most war movies don't feel like you're in a war. Whether that's because of like the ambient sound or whatever, there's very few scenes like that you'll be. Most of the time, it's in the Vietnam movies mm -hmm. that you'll get them. But like even uh, so, like uh, Wonder Woman, right? They had that really good scene. That's still not a very... It's be, It was a beautiful scene. It wasn't a very good war scene. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It wasn't deafeningly loud. There weren't people falling left and right like it really happens in war. And that's much better displayed in some other movies. Like, even Forrest Gump has a really good... Yeah, you know those what are I mean? always good. Yeah, those yeah. are good scenes. 
And so, like, when you do them right, they gain you, like, good movie mm -hmm. points for me. I don't know. I, I really enjoyed it. I gave Overlord, like, a eight and a half or a nine, I think, out of ten. All right. So it was pretty good. I'll have to watch that one. But, but you'll see what I mean about that part. There's a part. And I really wish they kind of left it with prosthetics because they did a lot of the other stuff it looked like with prosthetics. And then light hybrid CGI, you know, where they just mm -hmm. do some touch-ups. Which I'm okay with. I actually like that a lot more. Because the problem with old school prosthetics is it's actually too real you know what i mean it doesn't look good in the it's the same reason you can't film dark scenes it just doesn't look good cinematically if you can't see shit like there's a couple that like exceptions to that rule but i feel like most movies where there's like scenes like in the dark like that you just fucking yeah turn off. you could turn off the screen it doesn't matter mm -hmm. and that one this one doesn't do that it's just like yeah Definitely worth a check out. I don't uh, know. Yeah, I'll have to check that. Cause I wanted to see it, but I just, yeah, kind of slipped through the cracks. Yeah, it's, on. it's not like necessary. I would see it in theaters if I could, mostly for the sound. Sound was really good. It's really nice. But uh, then again, we watched an IMAX, so. You know, when what is it not came good? Out? Was that all that came out? <sighs> There's all kinds, I'm sure. But, I mean, really what we saw, there was the Halloween. There was the... I've seen Rick and Ralph. I told you that one. Yeah, last I still week. haven't checked that. I still have to check that out. I'll have to go and see. I just haven't had time to really see it. Spider Verse comes out next week. That I'm really That's excited this week, for. Right, but next. No, week. I think it is next week's. Yeah, December. 14th. But I'm super excited for Spider Verse. Like, there's never a doubt in my mind. Yeah, that... Jason Latour, the guy who created Spider Gwen, is like very happy of how it came. Oh yeah, out. dude. He's definitely should be. December 14th. Yeah, there we yep. go. So, so it should be in... 12 days. Okay. So that'll be sometime, not next week, but the week yeah, after. after. Yeah. yeah, that'll be... Nothing coming up next, next week, though? Oh, that's technically next Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But nothing coming up uh, this week, huh? I don't think so. Uh, December movie releases. I mean, there might be some anime or some other stuff. One thing that's pissing me off that I still want is when are we going to get our One Punch Man? <laughs> they keep pushing that shit back. Now it's like yeah, April. Let them just cancel it. Just cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do we got? I, wa I watched like literally like maybe a little bit of the first episode <laughs> of Alejandro and I was like, nope, it's ridiculous. Off. <laughs> I can't stand this. So we got, we don't got anything in the first week, man. Everything's going to come out after Spider-Man. <sighs> Everything. So we got Mary Poppins, yep. Aquaman, Bumblebee. Bumblebee, Mortal Engines. That one, I don't know. What you think about that one? Nah, I mean, I'm interested, but I don't really care. That's a Peter Jackson movie, right? Yeah. It I mean, I'll see movies. it for the concept. That's the thing. Those movies are concept movies. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't always follow through on his finish for those cons. Like, for example, the King Kong I always like King Kong. No, the the other one, I, I liked it, but I his, felt like it was version? a concept. Yeah, I like his version. Yeah, he has a, he has a concept though in my head. It was and then, basically the the same of the original, just it is better looking graphics. <laughs> that, uh, there were some other things. His choice of uh, casting in that movie was definitely I like interesting. Jack Black. Jack it wasn't Black was just cool. Black. Jack, it was Jack Black. Then he also got the other goofy ass guy. Oh, uh, the guy with the big nose, Juice guy. Yeah, his name you know Andrew. the one. He's a good actor though. He's he is, but it, it was goofy I, to have everybody together. I always together liked there. him because ever since I seen the pianist, pianist I was like, yeah. after that. I fucking like this actor. He's good. Ever since you've seen the penis, you know. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like after that movie changed my thought about him. I was like, he's a good actor. So no. he is. And I have no problem with him. But when you have both of them together, I felt and they, they even did a good job. Like you said, in that movie, Jack Black does a very good job acting seriously. Yeah, yeah, he you know does, no, I mean? he could do some good roles. Like I've I seen, felt, uh, I felt like just having him there though, even just his his uh, stature gives him less of like that serious feel that i thought the movie because he does he's Jack not an, yeah he's not a very imposing person yeah you know what i mean well there's this movie i, I saw on netflix and they scarred me for life about Jack the one Black. where he gets blown up like is no, that the one with the machine gets, gun no this is the one where he's like he's very awkward and like i, I guess he doesn't have a lot of friends and like i can't remember it's kind of it's been a while since i've seen it but anyways he he meets this guy, right? And this guy turns out to be like, you know, awesome, cool guy, and he wants to hang out with him all the time. And then he, he ends up being gay, right? The guy? And so Jack Black, he's not gay, right? But like, I don't know, for whatever reason, 
the guy sleeps with Jack Black and they show the scene and they're like, oh my gosh, Jack Black, no! <laughs> and, and they're like, no! No! Not Jack Black! They got him! No! They got him. They got him. That's what kids me. That, that's funny right there. <laughs> I think it was a Netflix uh, original too and I was like, and then, uh, like, at the very, at the, once it was all done and done with, he just felt very, like, like, he felt, he kind of accepted it, but then at the same time, he was very, like, uh, what's the word, uh, just displeased, I guess. This is not happy, this is, like, unhappy with it, so disappointed. This is, I guess, disappointed, I or, uh... <laughs> he felt violated. There you go. He felt same, violated. He felt violated, but then at the same time, didn't really like. Care. Yeah, I was it was like, like whatever. Like, fuck it. He fucked me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Not Jack Black. They got it. <laughs> who, who got him? The gays was it? The... <laughs> they got him. They banded together and got him. Uh, and I thought it was gonna be such a good movie. Cause <laughs> like I was like, oh, he's Jack Black. Let me see. <laughs> That's what you get for picking up a movie based on the actor. <laughs> it was a serious role for him. Like he was, he was pretty. Ser- I, I I took him serious in this movie, but then like after that part, I was like, you couldn't take him serious in my No, I was just scarred. I just I scarred, scarred a life. little bit. It's like mm, I just never wanted Jack to see Black, that. I didn't know you would do a scene like that, but you did. <laughs> Anybody will do a scene for money, sir. <laughs> that's what porn's all about. Cough. I mean movies. Uh, that's what you. That's that's, that's why I don't do actor-based films because actors do anything. For, they, they do whatever they're told to. <laughs> they're whoever the the part wants them to be. I still want to see the Meg. The Meg. Oh it's yeah, I still haven't checked it out. I've heard good. I, you know, I've heard it's a Jason Statham movie though. It's not about and, the Meg. And then the scene. That's, right, I'm alright with, with it. With it. I, I know, but I, I think that's why it didn't do well is because it's it should have been named uh, Jason Statham and the Meg. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part though is just so they were doing the his part where he's like the megalodon. The megalodon. The, the what? Me- the megalodon. His <laughs> accent. I like it. Oh, that's the best thing. Megalodon. <sighs> I love that. I have to see it though. I want to watch. I would it. check it. I heard my parents liked it, so oh, I'll that. check it out. I usually can depend on them for at least not liking totally trash movies. <laughs> then again, there's some totally trash movies I like that they don't. So it's like, yeah, then, then there's a there's that they won't watch. Fucking uh, granted, that's a trash movie. So you uh, guys should watch Turbo Kid. Turbo Kid. Watch it. You'll love it. I'll have to check it out. Where's you, where's you it like on? 80s movies, right? Oh yeah. And it's on Netflix. Netflix is original. It, is it anything like uh, what's it? What was that for? It's like an apocalyptic world, but then about this little boy. Oh, okay. I thought the way you said it's like it's an eighties movie it reminded me of that one they released that was like the essence of all eighties movies. Fuck. Oh, you know the one I'm talking about. Come yeah, Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah, yeah, yeah. Fury, yeah. They're making the movie. I know. Oh, fuck, man. Another one. That's going to be... No, like a, like a movie movie. Because that one was only like, what, 30 minutes? Yeah, long? it was like probably 40 minutes yeah, or something. Yeah, but no, they like have like big name actors. Gonna I be mean, they had movie. kind of big name ones in that one. Not like real big name, but they got the guy from Heroes and a couple other yeah, big people from it. Was in there. But, but it, the, the, the thing about it, though, was I didn't give a shit about who was in it. I gave a shit about how 80s it was. It was so funny. It was so I, I wish people it. made period pieces like that. You know what I mean? Like, give me a '90s movie. I heard that Seth, uh, who was it? No, uh, Jonah Hill. Oh, I wanted to watch that. One? I wanted yeah, to watch that one. I want to check it out just because they said it's the '90s movie and it's yeah, supposed yeah, to be yeah. an homage to the '90s. And I, I love the '90s. Yeah, so. so do I. So I wanted to check that one out too. The man. only reason I don't want to check it out is I don't like Jonah Hill. I don't know why. Either. He was in there, huh? That's right. No, I think he's the director. Oh, he or is. the writer. No, 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 or something. He's, no he's the director. He's I'm either the writer sure or the, the director. He might be both. both. Yeah, I think it was both. I think this is his his project. And like I said, I don't know what I have against Jonah Hill. It's just something. <laughs> have you seen the how he lost all that weight, huh? I did see him lose weight. That's not really They're making fun of him with his memes. They're like, no leg day, but they have... Because his legs are all super skinny, but his body's all, like, built. Yep. I was like, damn, he really lost so much weight. And he got <laughs> that, that built. Like, here's my thing. And this is no offense to any people or whatever the thing. If you don't... No, if it, like, like I have a job. If you don't work a nine to five and you got a ton of money, you probably afford to go to the gym. Yeah, both time and money wise. Yeah, I don't have that. Like most people don't have that luxury. They either work a nine to five or don't and don't have a lot of money. It's <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. 
So yeah, there's that movie yeah, I want to check out too. There's yeah, a couple of movies I start to see before the end of this year. Yeah. There's some things. Uh oh man, there's a lot. I well, I'm st- like I told you, I'm saving up for vacation in January. So like right now I'm not being able to buy much, but I'm going through a bunch of the games: Red Dead, God of War, Spider Man. Finish God of War yet? No, I'm you going through on yet? God of War though. That's why. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I was stuck for a while on a couple parts. I don't like doing that to myself because I'm like, yeah, it'll take me forever. I'm like, I want to at least beat the story I, and have some See, time it, just dep- it just depends for me. At least for me, put it on like, not so easy. At least put it on normal. I know. Uh, I got to go hard. Every time, always the hardest difficulty. Some ga- I still have games I haven't finished. Well, I'll go and finish them on regular if I get stuck too much on hard. I used to do that hard. to my cousin all the time when he buy a game. I'd be like... Bro, you gotta put on the hardest oh, yeah. difficulty. And he'd, be, he'd be so pissed at me. He'd be like, "No, bro, we can't, because we'll be stuck forever." I already <laughs> told him. He's like, "I already know how this is gonna happen." He's like, "We're gonna start playing, and then we're gonna get stuck on one part, and then we're gonna be stuck there for two, three hours. Can't beat it until eventually we beat it. And it took us three hours just to beat this one bullshit part." But then, how happy are you when you yeah. beat it? <laughs> That's the fucking trade-off. You'd be so mad though. I'd be like, "No, oh, we bro, can't. you don't know. I was up till." And last night wasn't even. I got so pissed off though because the controls weren't like responding well. I, oh, I was dead? so mad. I was like, "Fuck this game for game of the year." Fucking can't dodge, yeah, right motherfucker. Dead. The controls I have been playing more. And like, I don't, I don't know. The controls are a little glitchy sometimes here and there when you're trying to like. Oh, you gotta see. To hit you gotta cars. see this shit. <laughs> or even when I I skinned the snake one time and then I came right back for it. It was like not in the same spot I seen it and it was over here in the mm-hmm. air, just stuck in the air. Yeah, just stuck. Chilling, you got to see this one. I was playing online, right? Because they released the online uh, on Friday. That's well, it was on Tuesday or whatever, but then later on Friday. But while I was playing, <laughs> I had this one happen. I got to get more of them upload, but they're just so fucking funny. Yeah, you can tell. Wait, is this the one? I hope this is the one. Oh no, this was not what I thought it was. That was just me catching a horse. Oh no, <laughs> I did what? This is funny. Smack! <laughs> I caught his horse with kicking, but that was not the one I thought it was. <laughs> Sorry, that was not what I was, uh, the one I was searching for. That was another one. This, this, hopefully, this one. Okay. Buffering. Then we'll probably... Oh, well, while we're waiting for that, then, I guess we should... Yeah, we'll f- close up a bit. Uh, do we have anything else we want to talk about? I, mean, I think we've covered most of it. Aquaman's coming up. Stuff's coming up, but we're really in I limbo. Mean, we're just not really talking about Aquaman anymore, because it's just... We've like, done it. Yeah. We've done it, and there's nothing to do until it comes out. We've talked about the trailer. We've reviewed the trailer. We've done it all. Like, there's not much to talk we're about. Just to wait for it to come out yep. and see how it comes out. And then uh, next week we'll have a new artist spotlight. But as always, nice to talk to you guys. You can always join us in our Discord server, which yeah. is listed below. Okay, here it goes. Bitch, I swear my mind stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. 